Hi, my name is Phil Anderson, and I'm running for the United States Senate to represent Wisconsin. I'm leaving town tomorrow night to attend the wedding of my nephew down in Georgia. He's made a fine choice. He's marrying a wonderful young woman. They should have many, many happy years together, and I fully expect that they'll spend the rest of their lives together. It's not always the case, though, right? We've seen people, I'm sure you've seen people in your life where, you know, people tell you they're getting married and you're kind of wondering if they're making the right choice, if they're really compatible, if they really thought it through. These are the sort of considerations that we make, the things that we think about, and that we even talk to them about when they make big decisions like that. Well, not quite as important, but pretty darn important, are the decisions we make about our politicians, right? I mean, government's so powerful right now that we're giving over control to a lot of different things in our lives to people who supposedly represent us in Washington. So it's important that we make educated decisions and that we don't settle. We rarely advise people who are getting married to settle, right? They should look for their one true love. They should look for somebody who they can spend their life with, who, who shares their values, who they can raise a family with uh, if that's what they choose to do. It's not too different from choosing uh, politicians and office holders as well. They should reflect our values. We should not settle. We should not settle for the usual Democrat or Republican, the lesser of two evils. Imagine if we chose our spouses and our relationships that way. It would be catastrophic. And I would argue that it's been catastrophic for the United States and our government to be stuck with choosing the lesser of two evils for so long. Because the lesser of two evils is still evil. It's still bad. The best thing that could happen is we have more choices, right? We have more choices, is what I'm telling you right now. You can choose a libertarian. A libertarian will represent you and not their party, not a party, not our party. We'll represent you. We'll represent your freedom, your liberty, your property, your privacy, your prosperity, and a foreign policy that makes sense, that's humane, and one that really only acts constitutionally, that is not attacking for uh, financial reasons, but only in defense. All of these things represent you, right? They represent me. They represent a lot of us. And I think that's why many, many people today, uh, when they're polled, when they're asked, they identify as libertarian with a small l, some on purpose and some not even realizing that, in fact, if they're fiscally conservative and socially liberal, that liberal, then they fall into a, sort of a libertarian definition. But there aren't politicians that reflect those views in the uh, Democrat and Republican parties, except for possibly Rand Paul, and he's gone now. So what I urge you to do is to make the same considerations to take the same care in choosing who you vote for and do not settle for Republicans or Democrats because they do not represent you. They represent your part uh, they represent their party. They represent big money interests, they represent lobbyists, they represent unions, they represent military contractors. They don't represent you. They don't share the vision that you have for the future and that is as I believe most people in the world's vision is to lead a life that you can make a living and spend time with your family and live in peace and prosperity and privacy. That's what I stand for, and that's what I'll do as your senator. I will advocate for those issues. We will try to get back to a government that makes sense and is accountable and sticks up for you, not for parties, one that reflects your, your beliefs, that your values, family and privacy and prosperity. That's what I stand for as your candidate for the United States Senate. So vote for me in November. Follow along with the campaign. And also follow along with the videos because I'm still going to record them even though we'll be traveling. And that might be entertaining. So stay tuned and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks.